my husband just went to work on April 10th. If it can happen to him and the countless others that have been victims of mass shootings, school children and teachers, people going to movies and concerts who have been massacred by acts of gun violence, it can happen to you or your loved ones too. Those words from Karen Tutt, wife of Jim Tutt, who was one of the people killed on one of our city's most difficult days. Today, we are hearing from attorneys about that new lawsuit filed by survivors and family members of the victims of the old National Bank mass shooting. They are now suing the Louisville gun store where the shooter bought the weapon used to kill five people and injure several others. Ian Hardwit is with us with more on this story. Ian, what can you tell us about the foundation of this lawsuit? Grace, these attorneys are saying the gun store River City Firearms was negligent when they sold the old National Bank shooter an assault rifle. They characterized the tragedy as one that could have been prevented had the gun never been sold. <clears throat> According to the lawsuit, a witness in the gun store noticed troubling behavior from the gunman when the when he was buying the weapon. I asked the lawyers, who is this witness? The legal team says it's someone who was acquaintances with people at the bank. They didn't provide any more details on who that witness is, but added that more would come out as the lawsuit develops. Here's what one lawyer had to say about the witness, about what the witness described the shooter's behavior was when he bought that gun. The complaint states that someone in the gun store said the shooter appeared uneasy, avoided eye contact, and demonstrated a complete lack of knowledge about guns. The shooter allegedly told River City employees that he wanted to purchase an AR-15 for self-defense. Those attorneys also mentioned the possibility of suing not only the manufacturer of the firearm, but also the producers of the accessories that were sold like a red dot site. As for River City Firearms, we've reached out to them over social media to get their response to this lawsuit. They haven't responded yet, but we'll try contacting them later today. At 4 o'clock, we'll continue bringing you live coverage and share more from the lawsuit. For now, I'm Ian Hardwit in the studio. Grace? Ian, thank you so much. And like you mentioned, we will have more coverage on this story throughout WHAS 11 News at 4. And if you want to read the entire lawsuit, we have that posted to this story on WHAS11.com.